y'all it's Nisha and in today's video we're gonna be giving myself some temporary highlights some hair color we're gonna be playing with some color so if you are interested just keep watching but before we get into the video and get a little messy make sure um, you've gone ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and join the family also go ahead and hit that notification bell I post videos I always have to sit and think but <laughs> I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday so like I said if you've already hit the subscribe button notification bell you will be good to go so let's just go ahead and get started with this video y'all I'm so excited okay y'all so if you um, saw a haul that I posted maybe like a month or two ago you would saw that I purchased another one of Gemini natural gels get hue gel um, vegan temporary color gel and the color bronze beauty before I had purchased the purple one and I actually have a video where I compare um, the purple gel to the purple hair paint wax and I let y'all know um, my feelings which one I feel works better all that stuff I have that video linked above and so in that video I did like a twist out but I wanted to do this on a wash and go and I'm not trying to make my whole entire head this color. Um, let me let y'all see this up close. I'm not trying to make my whole entire head this color. I'm trying to do more of like a highlight effect. So I've gone ahead and done my normal wash and go routine. Um, I'll have all the products that I linked down below. I've already gone in and put in my leave-in, my gel. This doesn't have a lot of holds so I don't... I'm not going to depend on this to give me my hold and give me my definition. I'm mostly just depending on this for color, which is why I've done my wash and go as normal. So let's just go ahead because I feel like my hair is drying and I don't want to like disturb the curl pattern too, too much. But let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to section this back section in half. I'm going to use larger sections because like I said, I am not trying to make all of my hair this bronze color. I'm just trying to add more of like a highlight effect. Ooh, that might be a lot. Alright, so starting off with this amount, I'm going to try to put it more towards the tips of my fingers and kind of just rake it in. I'm just gonna rake it in and do this as if I were doing like a wash and go, rake in my gel. Gonna add a little bit more. Make sure I get the section in the back. All right, I think this is the effect that I'm going for. So I'm going to zoom you in. There we go. Move on to the next section. I'll make another big section. And I'm doing like two and a half pumps to start off with for each section. You may want to change that ratio of product depending on how thick or thin your hair is, how big of sections you're using. But I feel as though for the size sections that I'm going for, like a pump, pump and a half, works out good to start with. And then if I feel like I wanna add more, then I go in and just add a little bit more. And as you can see, the difference in technique that I'm using to do more of like a highlight effect rather than just making my whole entire like head this color is that I'm concentrating the color on like my fingertips and then raking my product in. Whereas last time I concentrated the product on my palms and then I was like um, palming 
palming, praying hand method, there you go, praying hand method, um, applying the purple color. I'm just gonna keep applying, let y'all listen to some music, and then once I'm done, I will be back and show y'all the wet results, and then of course we'll let it dry, and then I'll show y'all the final results. y'all so as you can see I am done applying the bronze beauty get huge Gemini naturals gel to all of my hair and this is what it's looking like thus far as you can see it got a little bit messy you know it's on my shirt it's on my face but it's gonna wash off so that's okay so this is what it's looking like so far so right now looking in the mirror the gold is very bright but having experience or prior experience with this product um, I know that when it dries it's not as vibrant as it is when it applies to your hair so although for me this looks like a lot <laughs> I think once it dries I'll be fine and I'll have my more highlighted look that I'm going for Either way, I'm going to sit under my dryer, my hooded dryer for a little bit, and then I know it's not going to be fully dry, because I'm probably only going to sit under there for like 45 minutes, because I really can't stand being under a hooded dryer for very long. But do that, um, then air dry the rest of the day. Probably will end up diffusing my roots, because my roots are always the last to dry. And then I will be back tomorrow to show you the final results of this wash and go with my bronze beauty highlighted look, y'all. I've always wanted to highlight my hair like this. Like, always wanted to highlight my hair like this. But I'm chicken. I don't want to dye hair. I don't want to bleach. Nothing. I just love these temporary hair colors because I can play around with color and then I can wash it out. And not damage my hair but anyways enough rambling I'll be back tomorrow with the final results okay y'all so it is morning it is the next day my hair is dry I slept with my hair in these like bands and this is how I normally stretch my hair I usually don't use heat to stretch my hair unless I'm like in a rush but if I'm not in a rush and I can stretch my hair overnight, this is my preferred method. I just take these little, I forget what they're called, like the creaseless um, hair bands or whatever, hair ties, and then just put them in my hair. I usually concentrate more on the top parts of my hair because I want that to stretch out more than the bottom part of my hair because my hair is in layers, so the bottom part already hangs longer. If that makes sense, I don't know. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and just take these out really quickly, fluff my hair. I'm loving this color these are my results from using 
the Gemini Naturals Gel and Bronze Beauty. Hold on, let me show y'all. This bad boy right here gave me this color. Taking down like my little bands. I do have a little bit of transfer and I also have a little bit of flaking. But let me just show you. I don't know if you can see. It's probably because it's like gold. But it's not a lot. It's not a lot. I definitely had more transfer with the purple than I do with this gold. And I have a little bit of flakes, but that's because I use kind of like three <laughs> gels for this wash and go. Like I said earlier that I was going to link all the products that I use in my wash and go to get these results. But I use the Miel's Curling Custard, then I use the Style Factor Gel, and then I use this gel. So that could be why I'm experiencing like, it's like the slightest bit of flaking. Nothing crazy, nothing to be too concerned about. I also went to go get my bonnet because my bonnet, bonnet on the inside like the part that actually touches my hair is white and I don't know if you can see it very well but let's see like this spot right here I don't know if y'all can see it there's like a little bit of gold there's like little specks of the color here and there as far as how my hair feels my hair feels crunchy but I don't think that has anything to do with the Gemini Naturals gel I think that has everything to do with my style factor gel but if you've seen any of my wash and go videos you know that I like a crunchy wash and go it's not like crunchy crunchy like it's still flowy, but it's definitely got that crunch to where I know it's going to last a long time. And like I said, I feel like that's due to my regular gel that I use, Style Factor Gel, and has nothing to do with the Gemini Naturals gel. In fact, when I did my twist out with the purple, my hair was not country, crunchy at all. My hair was soft. So, if you like more of a soft hold with your wash and goes, you can definitely just use the gel the Gemini Naturals gel like by itself and you don't have to go in with um, a heavier gel or anything like that but if you like me you like a little bit extra hold you like a little bit of crunch then definitely use your normal wash and go products your normal wash and go gel and then put the Gemini Naturals gel on top also let me go ahead and give y'all a look of the back as well because I know that a lot of you like to see the back of the head and I haven't really fluffed out the back too much so I don't know how it looks hopefully it looks good um, but if it don't don't judge me I'll, I'll fix it later um, but this is the back of my hair I also have not seen the back of my hair so I don't even know how the color looks I hope the color looks pretty decently even in the back Gemini Naturals you did it again love this color love this gel like love this gel like just bomb just bomb it's summertime I'm gonna be buying more colors comment down below tell me what color I should try next I'm thinking about either a blue or a red I've already done the purple I've already now done the bronze um but I'm thinking about either doing blue or red so comment down below and let me know which color you think I should try out next but y'all I can't stop looking at my hair in the viewfinder over here like <sighs> it looks so good all right y'all so that is it for the video I hope you enjoyed I hope you got to see like the versatility of this gel that you can use it for a twist out wash and go I think next time I might try it with a braid out and just see what kind of results I get with that but if you have any questions or comments make sure you leave them down below in the comment section again I am so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you just taking the time to watch this video watch the little old me it means the world to me like it really does but until next time y'all I'll see you in the next video bye oh.